Hello and welcome to this let's play of Survive the Blackout. Now this is an indie game title that released like three days ago and um, I'm super excited to play it because I followed its development since like a, a year or something and I've beta tested it and um, so yeah I might be a little bit biased about this game because I already put my heart in it and uh, like it how it is. Apparently it has still some smaller issues, they're being fixed little by little, but the main things should work now and um, let's dive into this experience. I'm super hyped <laughs> to see how the final product turned out because so far I've only seen like bits of this thing and now we're experiencing the whole thing. We couldn't have anticipated this. No one could. Three months ago, all electric devices overcharged and burned out. People called it the blackout. Okay. Accidents and disasters that followed it took a toll on the population. No family was unharmed by the blackout. Cut off from the rest of the country and unable to find any authorities, all we could do was watch our world fall apart. Chaos ruled the streets. Bah. Nowhere was safe. This atmosphere already gets me. Then the light appeared. A beacon of hope in the dark. Our choices were stay here and die, or try to reach it. We were luckier than most. We found the doctor and he knew the way to the light. He convinced us that there was still hope and took care of us. When we doubted, with his nerve and strength, he reassured that we were safe and in good hands. This morning we found him, with his own light extinguished. It is up to us to reach the light now. <laughs> On a lantern. <laughs> Sorry, somehow, in a morbid way, what? it is a little bit funny. Because, you know, he, st he extinguishes his light. On a lantern. Yeah. Now, this is what we are presented with. It is a kind of a post-apocalyptic setting and we get to survive. That's a thing many games do, but the special thing with this game is it is import uh, the, the narrative is the main thing. You don't have to gather berries and build a base. And I won't explain too much now. Let's just do it. I can select a leader now. Right. I have this dude. Oh yeah, cool. I couldn't take him in the beta version. There were only like three characters available. Now we can have all of those, I think. So, okay, let's see. Who do what? we got? Sarah, a mysterious woman with a tongue as sharp as a knife. Strong appearance, dressed in motorcycle clothes. Inseparable with her helmet. Her cat-like smile sometimes makes you wonder if she meddled in some fishy affairs. Okay. Right. And she what? is a survivalist. Those, I think, are three groups that we have. This one is a survivalist. Right. He, for example, Jack, is a loner. He used to work for Prime Fashion Magazines to make a sudden change in his career profile. Wait, what? He used to work for Prime Fashion Magazines to make a sudden change in his career profile and became a war photographer. Still hopeful and kind, his intuition and a good eye for detail let him see through people. Yeah, that could be helpful. Also, he's really cool with those sunglasses. And is this like a th press? In like an, an, a thing that we can go to press events and stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> Sanvi came to the country to study marketing. Then, yeah, that kind of shows. Then opened a thriving business. Sanvi was the best, fr best in her field and she could easily talk everyone to her ideas. Might seem fragile, but her inner strength carried, carried her through her life turmoils. And she's an idealist. Now, this is my favorite group. In fact, in the Survive the Blackout Discord, you could also choose one of those three groups, and I chose Idealist, because Idealist is supposed to be the group of people that um, look after, after each other the most, and that try to help people regardless of how well they themselves are off at the moment. Now, who else is wow. available? Him, Alex. Uh, before the Blackout, Alex was a skilled mechanic. He's too young, you say? He has what it takes for the job, and more. This boy knows his way around all kinds of technical stuff, not only cars. Yeah, that could be super helpful. 
Um, he's a survivalist. And now we have seen all the three groups, I think. Idealist, survivalist, loner. Survivalist and loner kind of explain themselves, I think. Yeah. And this is Boris. It's my favorite one. <laughs> Boris left Ukraine to find a job and a better life. He thought that the hardest time is past him, but during the blackout, he lost his family. Now Boris won't let anyone close to him get hurt. He will save them at all costs. That really speaks to me. That's why I, I like this mm -hmm. dude. And she she is a child. That's why I can't choose her, I think. Anne is alone in this world. Even though she'd rather hide in moments of danger, she has lots of inner strength. Her age can be an advantage. Even some real bastards sometimes have a soft spot for children. She's also an idealist. Right. Okay, that was everybody. Now, is the question, should I go with Boris? Because I really like Boris. <laughs> I like to pick Boris. And when it is like it is in the beta version, <clears throat> then um, the rest of the group mix randomly. We can only choose the leader. So I have to select carefully whom to choose. I think... Right. Yeah, I mean, why not? I kind of want to be a journalist one day, so why not choose him? That would be a pick that I don't wouldn't make normally so why not just to try it so this is a this is how it starts we've got our three people here oh we've got Anne that's really cool she's um, here him we already know yeah we read that oh here's more information Jack was never a family type of guy he never put down roots anywhere was he running away this is interesting what's this Eye for detail, you notice what others would overlook. Oh, that's that's really good, I think. Him, Alex, that's a mechanic, I think. Yeah, without tech, Alex fools, feels lost. Maybe he will find something that still works. Handyman, you can build almost anything from scratch. And this is Anne. Anne is on her own. Will she manage not now without her parents and her sister? The kid, you're small and underestimated. Okay, now let's jump into this thing and stop reading all the the meta stuff. Yesterday, we had a clear goal set by Doctor. We were to find his old friend, Frank, to stock up for the road. Today, we found the Doctor outside, like that. He left us. Why did he do that? Now I can communicate with the others. We don't have Boris, so this thing we can't use, because there would be an action for Boris. We have to bury the body. We should hurry. Let's gather our stuff and move. Let's search the body, then bury the doctor. Yeah, what is one? So the characters will sometimes make comments and stuff that happens. We took the body down and began searching it. It wasn't a pleasant task, but we found a few items. Some cigarettes, a lighter, unmarked medicine, and a letter. Take the items, but read the letter later. Leave the letter with the body, destroy it, or read it out loud. I will take it and read it later. The thing is, some things here I already tried. I played a beta version two times or something, and there's I, I'm a spoilered a little bit, but that shouldn't play too much of a, a role. One of us read the letter. Someone had to know what it contained. For now, we shouldn't let it disturb us from the mission. We will look at it when we have more time. And if you read the letter out aloud, the morale will go down. That's what happened in the beta. Let's go. With heavy hearts, we came back to the house. The doctor's backpack stood on the table, a painful reminder of his absence. We were about to move out. That was our last stop. Let's search the house. Let's take a look at doctor's belongings. Let's grab our backpacks and go. I'd like to check that one. Going through the doctor's backpack, we found his diary and some medicine. We learned that something broke him and his faith in the light a while ago. Despite that, he was determined to reach it. Leave it. We should take a moment to talk about it. Silence fell upon the room. The blackout broke a lot of people, even those that seemed fine at first. Some just gave up. We had to know. We should go... We, we should go to our camp and prepare for the road ahead. Let's pick this one. Now we're on the road. And those are events that you will encounter while traveling on the road. Those things, that's your resource, resources here up in the top right. 
and if you want to set a camp you click this button and then you will set a camp and you can consume the resources it's quite easy actually once you got it this are those are your stats and that's what you're left with a man ran towards us what was he into hide from him try to stop him ignore him let's hide you have to be careful in this world the man ran next to us not stopping holding some packet close to his side the pack looked like it was precious to him let's let's leave him be what a strange encounter it was for you still you proceeded your way hoping it will be the last strange thing to happen to you for a while i don't think that that's going to happen nope <laughs> sorry you can hear my my chair screeching um yeah <laughs> my chair is loud on your way you spotted a rustic house untouched by the blackout half open door looked as if it was left in a hurry but its inhabitants have left their car on the driveway. I can check the car, search the house, look around for inhabitants or leave. I want to check the car. The car was empty and was left here long, be long before blackout. You saw some personal belongings, old sunglasses, empty paper bag with local bakery logo, but nothing of use. I, I really enjoy this kind of storytelling, I just have to say. <laughs> Is so nice having text telling you something. I love it because you can Im you can imagine it all. This picture gives you an idea. The rest is in your head. Search the house. Now you've got a timer, so I've got to be quick. Do we have a timer? Danger level up here. Long forgotten student handbooks. Hardly any uni university will be still open now. Maybe when we finally get from our knees after. What? What? Get from our knees after the blackout? We will go back to sciences, or will we? We don't use it. Check this. Oh yeah, the danger level rises the longer you are in a house. And when it reaches here, which happened to me already, you will see. Probably will happen, then you will see what happens. Otherwise, I won't tell you. You, you, you can uh, play the game yourself. It's fun and the, the events are kind of random, so you never know what's going to happen. You found some food! That's fantastic, take it! Now I've got more food! Oh shit. The door? Open the door. You didn't find anything. Damn it, not again. You found some more food! Oh, so good. Food is so precious in this world. It's time to go on. Let's go. As you went on, you heard someone crying. A woman holding her kid in her arms. The kid seemed unconscious. I always want to check up on people and help them if I can. <laughs> so, let's do that. The woman wept. Did you see him? A bastard! And cuddled her kid even more. It seemed that the kid was hurt badly. There was some guy on the road. Oh yeah, the guy that, that, that came running! Can we help you? She shrugged her head. What he had left in this world was gone. Her son was gone. And for what? Oh no. So, wait. He he left her and the kid. Just, just like that. Okay. Or, she, or he left with another kid. Probably they had two. I don't know. We found a torn up backpack covered in dust as if it's lied there for quite some time already. Some of its contents lay on the, gr on the road. To make it worse, you felt stench coming from somewhere. Oh no! Checked surroundings. I don't want to smell... I don't want to see what's in the backpack. I already know what happens if you leave a banana in there for quite some time. I don't want to know what happens when you leave other things in there. Behind thick bushes, you almost stepped on a rotting body. Oh no, there is where, where it comes from. Blah, blah, comes from. Some vegetation around died and you could see bones behind ruptured dry skin. Camouflage clothes were torn and stained with decay. You could try to bury it. Ah yeah, here you see if I hover over this thing. I'm pointing with my finger on the screen, that's really helpful for you. <laughs> if you hover over hover over this option, you can see uh, on the left of the screen um, the things are blinking. That's the things that would, it could influence as far as I understood. I will search the body. There you don't know what will happen with Jack. Probably he won't like that experience. Or leave the body as it is. Huh. I think I will search the body. Oh, morale went up. In the camouflage pants of the dead man, Jack found a smelly diary. Mm. He didn't seem to be bothered by the stench. Okay, read it. And the mora his morale went up. I don't know exactly why, probably he's happy because he found something. They called me crazy. 
I knew this day would come and uh, our world would collapse. I prepared for it and now I am the hunted for my resources. We read in the last entry. Okay, it's all because of the blackout. We should stay away from other people. We can't help everyone. So the energy goes down and the food also goes down. This is satiety. I never heard this word before I played this game, but apparently it's a thing. Th those will go down when you travel. I mean, that makes sense. We reached the next city on our journey. It was different than the others we passed. There were clear signs of fighting on streets and building and building walls. It seemed dangerous. What should we do? Dang. Oh yeah, you see the holes. Okay. Those marks are probably from before the blackout. Probably not. I don't know where you live, but where I live, normally buildings don't have those marks. We should avoid this town, take the longer route. Boris could say this damage looks fresh. We should avoid this place. Then let's listen to Boris, although he's not in my party, <laughs> and avoid it. We were taking the long way around the town when we heard shots echoing in the distance. We had no clue who was shooting at whom and why, but we were relieved not to be there. Oh yeah. And I really love those atmospheric sounds. Uh, they make me really feel uncomfortable and that's, it's, that's the goal here. <laughs> it was a smart decision. We were safe, safer here. We could have taken the risk if we were armed. No. No, 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 no. Not against guns. Oh shit. Uh, give her food. Give me more. No, we don't have more. I just say this. There is a stranger. Run away with food. Okay. Oh, oops. Yeah, sorry, that was a timed event. <laughs> this means I can't chill here and read everything to you. But I have to react quick, so I won't. I won't read everything out loud. You can read it yourself. I mean, you're grown-up people. 